about a cup of water. And I'm going to heat that up until it's fully dissolved. All right, so the sugar at this point is dissolved in this water. And the next thing I'm going to be doing is taking it off the heat and putting a couple of ice cubes in to cool it down a little bit. All right, so what we've just done is we've put a little bit of the wine, the uh, Riesling, into a glass. I added a little tiny bit of this simple sugar syrup, stirred it up, and I used the consulting services of the beautiful lady who is my dear darling wife to do a taste test. And she had told me that this is a good mix. So I tasted it and I completely agree. And so what we're going to do next is we're going to, in a beaker, pour that wine and test the sugar with the hydrometer to see how sweet that that um, wine is. Okay, we're going to give that a shot. Okay, as the reading here indicates, we are at a little bit above 1.0 on the sweetness of this wine. So what we're going to do is we are going to back sweeten the Riesling over here to have the same reading. But first we're going to need to put some sorbate in the wine. Now the reason we're doing that is so that the wine doesn't start re-fermenting on the new sugar that we're adding to it. So I'm going to get some sorbate and we'll be right back. Alright, so there's my sorbet, and the directions on it say to use a half teaspoon per gallon when sweetening. We have five gallons here, so I'm going to be using, if I do my math correctly, I'm going to be using, hmm, that's two and a half teaspoons. Alright, so I'm going to be taking my measuring spoon, adding two and a half teaspoons to the um, fermenter over here and stirring it up with my spoon. After I stir it, I'm going to be taking a reading, adding the sugar and taking a reading. Alright, be back. Alright, so I added a little bit of sugar and I added the sorbet that we saw before, two and a half teaspoons for five gallons. And Again, the reason we're doing that is so that the new sugar we're adding doesn't start this thing to ferment. And what we're going to do now is we're going to try to get this to come up to 1.0. It's below that now, so we're going to need to sweeten it a little bit with that syrup. And what I'm doing is I'm throwing a little bit of that sugary syrup in that we made before and I am going to stir this up I'll take the hydrometer out stir that up real good I'm going to take another reading to see where we lie. You know, it's hard for you to see. Right, but the whole idea here is to get it to match the sample that you had in the, in the uh, cup. 
And we're getting closer. We need a little tiny bit more sugar. And we should be there. All right, so we're gonna keep doing this until we have it match. And I'll be right back. All right, there we are at the reading that we were looking for. And we're ready to start bottling. All right, cool. Rock and roll. So that's how to back sweeten your wine. And our next step is bottling. Cool. All right. All right, now we're ready to start bottling our Riesling kit. We just back sweetened the wine on our last video. On this video, we're ready to bottle. I got my setup here with my bottles. I have my bucket with the spigot and my bottling wand and I have a jug just so I could put it in something between going from one bottle to the next. These are my clean and sanitized bottles. We're ready to get rocking and rolling. Alright. Now that that's set up, what I'm going to do is I am going to put the wand in. Now the way this wand works is it has an end that when you press it down, it'll fill up the bottle. And the bottles are now getting full. I'm going to fill them up to about here. So when it gets close, I come to the tip and fill it like that. It's about there. Alright, so I'm going to do all of these in the same way. Of course, if you use the bigger bottles, you have less of them, so there's less of this to do. A lot of times I'll use the bigger bottles, but whites I don't drink that often, so I figure it's better to be in the smaller bottles for the whites. Wow, this has been a lot of fun making this Riesling kit from Vino Italiano. It's exceeded my expectations. A good way to show how to back sweeten a wine. Most wines I like are reds and pretty dry. This is pretty nice for a white. And basically this is the process. And once I'm done filling all of these up, it's time to cork. The approximator should have about 25 bottles. I washed 26 just in case. Just don't have to watch me look doing all of these. We'll be back when we're ready to cork. All right, so there I have my corker. My corks that have been soaking. And a bunch of bottles of wine. So let's see if I could set this up so that you can see how I do this. I don't know I did this in a different process, but it basically a different video. Put the cork in here and I'll take the bottle. Get it ready.
and push down and there we have a cork and a bottle of wine. I'm just going to cork all the rest of them and we'll be back. All right, there you have it. 25 bottles, start to finish, back sweetened, Vino Italiano Riesling um, wine. Um, hope you've had a great time uh, making this wine with me. It's been a really awesome experience for me as well. Oop, my bottling wand fell over. Anyhow, it's been a very awesome experience for me too. And I um, hope that you've uh, seen the whole process and could say, hey, you know, I could do this too. You know, not a lot says happiness like uh, 25 bottles of wine. Just uh, sitting there that you could say that you made yourself. So that's pretty cool. All right, rock and roll. See you next time. So thanks for watching. Please subscribe to my video channel here on YouTube. And check out my blog at www.cooking-italian-recipes.com for great Italian recipes, tips on organic gardening, winemaking, and uh, herbalism, and all other kind of fun stuff that I'm into. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe. Tell your friends. Take care.